Yeah. I bet he said that. Oh, uh, it's right here. <laughs> so, so that way, yeah, it'll look. We'll have more room. Yeah. We'll probably have bigger tables. I'm hoping. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, it should be just a lot nicer as far as like yeah. space and and stuff goes. Yeah. I keep getting chills. Why? I don't know. Because the <laughs> cold air is blowing right on you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it, I, don't, I don't know. It, it, means <laughs> an, it means an angel just flew over your head. Yeah. yeah are, you, are you getting chills from uh, from the new studio design? Yeah, thoughts of new studio fun. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a little baby boy. And a little baby boy. <laughs> a little baby boy. A little baby boo. Yeah, a little, a little baby clap, boo. clap. You're a baby boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck baby boo. Uh, <laughs> All right, you give us a little clap. <laughs> that was a bad one. Let me give you a better one. Okay. I was trying to do it. was really bad. I was that trying was to bad. not do a clap. Yeah, yeah it sounded like you put like your ass between it before you clapped <laughs> it. I really hope not. Shush. No, I need a That was the worst of, like, of all time. Yeah. That was on purposely bad. Yeah. That, that was like dull. Okay, Mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a piece you're, of you're shit. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, you are a legitimate piece of oh, shit yeah. right now. <laughs> Holy fuck, guys. Jordy is a literal piece of shit. <laughs> wow. It's just a big old turd. <laughs> big old turd. Well, anyways. How about that clean 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give 10s. Yeah, we don't give 10s here. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to Animation Anime. We're here. We're here. We Guys, we <laughs> haven't done fucking Dragon Ball Z in how long now? I don't even yeah. know how many episodes it's been. I had to pump the brakes on that one. Yeah, we had Sorry. to give Jordy a bit of a break. You didn't have to. I demanded. Actually, well, you didn't actually demand it. You just took it. <laughs> That's true, actually. I just didn't watch Dragon Ball Z for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, though? I think, like, anybody else out there who was probably trying to do a watch around the same time... Also needed a break? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They probably yeah. appreciated the fact, like, oh, yeah. I can go do other things again. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I felt. I know. Yeah. I know. Because you told me all the time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I did. <laughs> Your relief anytime you finish Dragon Ball is yeah. so palpable, dude. Yeah. You hate this show. Literally, right? like 10 minutes ago, yeah. my words out of my mouth were like, guys, we're almost done then Dragon Ball. Yeah. I can feel the relief. We're all done. Yeah, yeah, you don't like it, eh? But then you're going to torture me with some other shit. So fun. Yeah. No, we're going to get into Bleach, hopefully. One of the big three. I don't know. And it's going to be great. I don't trust you anymore. I think it's a good one. I think it's what we got to do. Bleach? I think it's the one. I think of the big serialized ones, it's the one that you and I are both the most like jacked up on right now. Yeah, it's Thousand Year Blood War is happening. Yeah. Like season two is happening like right now. So like, yeah, yeah, I think that's the play. It's gonna be a tough start though, dude. Yeah. I will. I will say it takes Bleach like thirty episodes to really get going. Well, I'm hard. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm hardened <laughs> now. I've been look, trained look, look, for look, look. it. So when we do oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> shut up. Look, look. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> this is what happens when you're back for two weeks in a row. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to skip the fillers for the next one. For Anytime what? we do any of the for big bleach threes. Means? No, any yeah, for bleach we'll skip the fillers. For Naruto we'll skip the fillers. Mm. We'll skip fillers for any of the big long Pick serializers. A few fillers. I feel like I need to have the experience to a point. The Actually, experience. okay, yeah, there are a couple fill fillers that like are just like, what the fuck am I watching? There's one for bleach. They're just in Aladdin, more or less. Yeah, I want to watch that one. <laughs> well, That's gonna be the one I like. You're definitely gonna have some. I'll have some. Yeah. And also, any of our shweebs out there, if you guys. Yeah. Have any of your favorite like filler episodes that you just know we cannot miss? If we, if and when we do the big serialized ones, yeah. let us know your favorite episodes. Yeah, that, that you will be so upset if we miss because yeah. we'll stick it in if it's filler. <laughs> if it's filler, because yeah. some people it's their favorite. Their favorite shit is the filler. Yeah, yeah, which I just I just can't get behind. People, filler. we just we sometimes. Well, what was our last episode? A fucking stupid whimsical, fucking low stakes. Yeah. Bullshit movie, yeah. Summer Wars, poorly made, unenjoyable. <laughs> Fuck the, you both. The, <laughs> filler you guys, you guys know filler exactly. episodes are the Summer Wars 
of a series. They're the margarine. <laughs> the margarine of the show. Yeah. <laughs> they they, they, they yeah. just don't need to be yeah. there. They don't need to be there. Yeah, you Neither might have the Just, just eat dry toast. Yeah. Sometimes no butter. dry toast is great. <laughs> Compared to margarine <laughs> or butter? Butter. I'll put butter on toast all day. <laughs> Koto oh, Shinkai. Yeah. Oh, my God. If you guys and don't get yeah. that inside joke, <laughs> go watch our last episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then... <laughs> Feel sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in this episode, feel sorry for me. No, don't ever feel sorry for Jordy. In wow. this episode, yeah. feel sorry for Trunks. Yes. Because yes. it's a rough go for a little man. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this is like, yeah, because this is our second last episode. This is season eight. Season, of season nine. eight of nine. Of nine. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to be done this pretty soon. One more uh, episode woo! finally wrapped up. Soon. Define soon. Yeah, I know. You're fucking whenever this guy decides to. I was gonna say watch he's it. gonna put it. He's gonna. He's gonna <laughs> draw this out. Fucking dancing and snapping your fingers. I'm preemptively <laughs> partying. Every snap was a month. He's gonna delay season nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was like 20 snaps. <laughs> yeah. By the way, <laughs> imagine I just never watch it. Imagine I just watch this and just, then stop forever. <laughs> Honestly, no. yeah. I knew a guy once who ate one Lay's chip and then yeah. called it for the rest of his life. Wow. Uh, what? Because bet you can't eat just one. Uh, I knew a guy yeah. who once popped and could stop. Whoa, Pringles. really? What? You're lying, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, Dragon so Ball Z. Any of you um, OG followers from when we did start this whole escapade, thank you for coming back and watching our yeah. DBZ escapade. I'm really hoping our next big long series won't take this long. Well, yeah. we'll see yeah. how life is. <laughs> also, for anybody joining in, because Vegeta is your favorite character, and you know what a huge season this is for uh, the V Man mm -hmm. or the M Man, yeah, the M Man, the Vegeta, yeah. the Vegeta. Oh yeah, we're spoiling shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way. Oh yeah. By the way, we tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're listening to us, you should know. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this is a big season for the dude, and uh, so if you're tuning in because this is your favorite, also welcome. We did all the other seasons as well. Go watch them um, and after or before. And we're going to do all the other ones eventually. Once Jordy has a few years break, we'll get into Super. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a this is a kind of a tangent or whatever, but yeah. there's a book my daughter loves that I fucking hate. What's it called? It's called uh, The Adventures of Rover. It's oh, just this man, it sounds thrilling. It's yeah. just this dog, and it's the dumbest book. It's so stupid. Yeah. But she wants me to read it to her, and for a while I read it to her when she asked. It's yeah. a novel, so it's like a commitment. Oh, we read oh before it's bed. an actual novel, yeah. not like a kid's picture No, I read book. novels every night before bed. Yeah. We read a novel, We, but she always wants to pick that one, and I got to a point where I'm like, Daddy needs a break from Rover. She gets so mad. She's like, it's been six months. And I'm like, yeah, and I still need to chill out on Rover. This is my Rover, bro. This show or this, this show? season? This show. Okay. Yeah. 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 But this this season, season was, was was interesting. It was pretty good. It had its moments. Yeah. I, I'm like so burned out by the whole concept of Dragon Ball Z that it's really hard for a good season to hit as hard as I think it hits. I mean, we've been over this. I was going to say, yeah. how comfortable are you with just putting all of that aside? No. And talking about just battles. The interesting stuff that yeah. you found. Well, I'll, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be really hard, but okay. I'll try. I I mean, I'm uh, expecting a few jabs regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's <clears> jabs. <throat> <clears throat> oh, there's jabs. Oh, there's but, jabs. But yeah. I'm, I'm hoping, yeah, that we don't get too weedy on sure. what makes Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Z when it's eight seasons deep on yeah. pure Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. It ain't changing, baby. <laughs> no. uh, I know that. Yeah. yeah. I'm aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, so give us your interesting points, and let's keep this one light we'll and fluffy, all right, and, and enjoyable for anybody for who cares. Everybody, sure. Yeah. March 9th, nineteen ninety four to January twenty fifth, nineteen ninety five. Yeah, Ooh. was the original run of this season. So actually, mm -hmm. in the nineties and not in the eighties. Correct. Correct. Like you didn't make a mistake but on I'm this. Not enough. like uh, fucking. Not like stab Akira. You. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like stab Akira. You in between the ribs. Which I'm of course we know. Spin, and I'm going to open said ribs. <laughs> stick my hand through it. Whoa. He's still going. And up, <laughs> grab your heart. Akira yeah. came <laughs> out in 1988, folks. <laughs> wow. In my palms. Wow. Just want to say that. 1988? Yes. Akira. <laughs> Release. Yeah. Not the 90s? You sure about that? 1988. Moving on. Okay. Yeah, moving on. We got it. We fucked up on our top 90s. Akira right. came movies, out in 1988. Yes. Okay. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Yes. So back to this show. Yes. Um, 1994 to 1995, yeah. not 199, not 1988. No. Which of course was the year that Akira, Akira was released. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Akira. Yes. In the 80s. Yes. 1988. Not in the 90s. Mm-hmm. 1988. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> oh, Dragon Mountain. Dragon Mountain Pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fire, Fire Dragon, Dragon Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of dragons. Speaking of dragons. Dragon, yeah. Dragon Ball. Dragon yeah. Ball Z season eight. Okay, so we can skip over a bunch like we've been doing in our Dragon Ball Z episodes. Yeah, we don't need to go over the world. We don't even go yeah, over the world. Let's pick up where we left off. We baby. can, however, talk about art. Yeah, we're oh, in Namek yeah. right now, guys. Um, <laughs> no, we're not. No. In <laughs> fact, the one time we, we thought we were in Namek, we also weren't in Namek. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes you're just not. <laughs> yeah. Like right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Good art, dude. Honestly, yeah. like I know it's all kind of like for the most part same same unless you have an eye for it. But like you notice when it changes mm-hmm. a little bit, and we're like doing good. We're yeah. doing really good. Yeah. I will say that, and we've talked about this before, so we don't need to get weedy about it. But the fact that season one gave you so many exploding mountains, season two gives you a fucking planet exploding, mm-hmm. and power ups that are so goddamn big looking that now they're still goddamn big looking, but they're like. We're, they don't the scaling is off it's yeah. like they blew their mm-hmm. load early mm-hmm. yep yeah and so it's really hard for me to watch this and not think but I know in, but before mm-hmm. it's, it's a super big complaint in the Dragon Ball world yep. dude is power scaling is always yep. way off dude yeah. this always isn't the first issue. time this isn't the first time it's happened where things have felt out of whack dude yeah. because they were they were blowing up planets with power levels yeah in season two or three yeah mm-hmm. And we're in season eight right now, and yeah. we're expecting that these characters yeah. are infinitely more powerful. Dude, we're in season eight right now, and we can barely pull a sword out of the stone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's right. We, right? Can, we can end planets with <laughs> anger. Yeah. Yeah. But sword? No, Stop it's in it. there pretty tight. It's yeah. in there pretty good. No, for sure, dude. I, yeah. I could not agree more. They... It's something that's very easy to overlook when mm-hmm. you're young. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm having true. a hard time with it. Of course. And, I, and I'll tell you, to be fair, not getting hung up on it, yeah. just noticing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Okay. I'm just noticing We it. got some improvement. Okay. Yeah. There's a bit more improvement there. Yeah. Sure. A little more acceptance. Yeah. yeah. How could you not <laughs> notice it, though, man? Yeah. It's so yeah. fucking weird. For they, sure. They do do a better job of it in uh, Super. They at least address it. They'll yeah. at least talk about, like, hey, yeah. uh, we're going to collapse this entire dimension yeah. if we keep pushing like this. So it's time to stop. Let's go into a pocket dimension and finish this fight where nobody can be harmed. Okay. Yeah. Like, they're addressing it in crazy ways like that, yeah. you know, yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. just like, all right, this is getting out of control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. He's so fighting is... a god. Yeah. And there's moments in season two where I think King Kai is telling Goku to chill the fuck out because he's going to blow up the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So they, they addressed it then. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're just not. That's not happening. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. It's the classic. Like so pa- much more powerful. It's a classic rollback to launch forward again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you know that that's what's happening, yeah. right? They're building up again to yeah. a big. Somewhere power. in a writer's room, yeah. someone went, "Oh, we fucked up." Yeah. <laughs> Take it a few uh, steps back so yeah. that this. They're like, yeah, this character needs to have some impact by yeah. the end of our show. How are we going to do that without tearing the fabric of the dimension? Yeah, honestly, yeah. it would have been better if they just did. By trying to they pass one off. They eventually will. Okay. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Sick. But that's years from now, Johnny. Yeah. Just send it over the kids. And, yeah. you know, pass one off and see if nobody noticed. Yeah. Su- Dragon Ball Super gets crazy. All yeah, right. Dragon does. Ball Super gets real crazy. Right. And also, the fights are so much better, in yeah. my opinion. And they're uh, fucking... Yeah. And you don't need to worry about power-ups taking fucking a week. Yeah. I'm right? finding, even in this season two, I'm finding the fight scenes feeling a bit lackluster, to be honest with you. Mm. Um, I, I, uh, think, I think there's some good ones. Still. Yeah. They're, not, they're also, like, not even as long now. Like, they were so long in the early yeah. episodes. Yeah. They're yeah. not quite I mean, as long anymore. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, I probably fusion? complained about that early on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where's the long fight scenes? Yeah. Why aren't they so long now, yeah. Yeah. guys? <laughs> Um, I think it helps, like having a strong narrative at this point as well, because yeah. the 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 boo uh, factor uh, yes. is really pushing things. The Majin yeah. uh, mm-hmm. aspect with Vegeta, like there's there's character drama yeah. going on, and there's sure. there's a quest, there's a goal in sight, there's stuff that they're working towards now, yeah. mm-hmm. more than just we need to stop him 
via battle. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, like or like, let's crash crime. this human tournament and destroy them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which was last season. Right. Yeah. Right. Like there, there, there's I you know like, objectives now. Yeah. There's there's yeah. plot. Yeah. yeah. And so that's kind of getting in the way of some of the long winded fighting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For so sure. I think it's welcome. In yeah. my opinion, I think this is one of the more momentous. Mm-hmm. Parts of Dragon Ball Z where sure. you actually feel like things are fucking moving, moving. Yeah. Yeah. and like the fusion. You're finally at fusion. I've seen fusion yeah. barely, yeah. which I've, I've seen did. it occur. I haven't uh, seen it really in action. Oh, okay, yeah. like you're not you're not yeah. get, you're not getting bogged down anymore in in a single mm-hmm. matchup. No, or, or waiting Goku to run Snake Road or something. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. But now like, I can make fusion jokes and you'll understand. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, sure. Yeah, you can. Sure. Yeah. I guess you can make them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. Yeah. You can. Yeah. <laughs> um, another a point about yeah. art I noticed it, uh, the Kira nods. Yeah. Many. Yeah. Like 1988. Ca- 1988. Yeah. <laughs> That's when that movie came out. Not in the 90s. No, no, no. Of course not. 1988. We, we, we all knew that. Yeah. <laughs> but, Idiots. That's who. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but oh, yeah, a couple man. of explosions that were the exact same shape and growth of yep. the Akira explosion. It's like one of Boo's moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he makes a bomb like that. Yep. Um, and then a bike slide. At yeah. least one, maybe more than one, but a very clear. I was like, oh, that's it. Yeah. Yep. There it is again. That bike slide, like, if you're listening or watching this, like, yeah. you guys know that bike slide, and you have seen it so many places. Well, we talked about this. Someone yeah. made a compilation. It's compilation. breathtaking. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just fucking watched the trailer for the new Mission Impossible movie. They, throw uh, they in do there. the bike slide? In the trailer. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Also, uh, Nope. Um, the, oh, yeah, yeah. There's one very obvious fucking mm-hmm. Akira bike slide one, at yeah. the end of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fucking awesome to see. Yeah. But we mm-hmm. all know Jordan Peele's a huge anime nut anyway, yeah. so. Yeah. But, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, that's it I have for uh, art. I mean, there's some other art-related things that we'll touch on at some points, but they're also nestled in maybe plot and character. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I will say, like, generally, this is probably my favorite period of, like, Dragon Ball art for, mm-hmm. for, for Z, at yeah. least. Um, this is, like, all my favorite key animators were working on it at the time. Uh, things had matured to a certain point. There was a grittiness and a maturity to the character designs. It doesn't really change too much from here on out or anything like that, but um, this to me is like peak Dragon Ball Z art uh, outside of like the movies. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. That's the movies can't. are really, really outstanding as well for art. But budget. Budget. Makes a budget. Yeah, exactly. yeah, budget makes a difference. Also, like, <clears throat> I mean, we should eventually we'll do probably a few of those movies because well, like after you can't. Uh, we do our, our season nine episode, the doors open. We yeah. have to, we have to, like my favorite Dragon Ball, maybe anything is one of the movies. Yeah. So like we absolutely like, have to do Fusion Reborn. Like yeah. that's my absolute favorite one. The Fusion Reborn. Like, and it's cool. Broly is like a crazy character that people love you, you need... talk about broly all the fucking time exactly so but, the, but there's difference there's a super broly and <laughs> then there's go. like then there's the, the z broly <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but <laughs> the nice thing is as well is that like a lot of those key animators that i was saying are my favorites in the show at this point in time also worked on the movies as okay. well so. except they were doing more work on the movies so mm. it's just more of them yeah, yeah. so it's just better yeah <laughs> it's about us yeah uh, all right, let's uh, move on to a quick chat about music because it's pretty typical for Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. A, a few insane choices regarding Always, man. Boo. Always, yeah. Like of some of his themes are absolutely fucking bonkers. Ludicrous, man. Yeah, <laughs> but he also is. Yeah, yeah. but but that 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 tracks for Boo. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's a, he's also just a a ludicrous character. He's a clown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a baby, a baby clown, yeah. a little baby clown, yeah. little baby, yeah. Little baby, yeah. Little baby, little baby, little baby, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's hop. Let's hop into some new characters because there's some new ones, guy. Okay? Yeah, and some old ones worth touching on again. So obviously, uh, I, in, in the last season, we were told about bippity boppity boo, bippity boppity, bippity boppity, bippity boppity, and boo. Yeah, which mm-hmm. is. Absolute insanity to name characters that. Yep. I um, think it's great. I don't know how you think that's good. I don't know Dude, how you. you I don't love, know how that wait, wait, ends wait, wait, up wait. in the show. I don't listen, know how that you listen isn't to me a right joke now. and doesn't you get. You listen to me right now. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you. I know for a fact you don't party. And I right. do. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you like Pokemon and okay. Alakazam. Yeah. I, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon right. does that though. 
So, all, and so they're why all can't, why names can't, in silly ways. Yeah, but why can't? So why can't Dragon Ball Z? Dude, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Abracadabra, Alakazam. Yeah. 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 That's their names. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's no different than Bibbidi Bobbidi. I guess, dude. Sure, Bibbidi Bobbidi sounds a little bit funnier. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy, it's still dude. The same thing. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Anyway. So <laughs> Bibbidi's dead, so we don't get to meet him. He's mm. old and gone. Yep. His child, who is now an old man, thing, mm -hmm. Bobbidi, Bobbidi, who's like a, kind of a little ball sack. Mm -hmm. Oh, or, yeah. like, or like uh, E.T. and Yoda had a little alien love child. Mm -hmm. and, and and he's, he's one of their ball sacks. He's one he's, of their ball sacks, <laughs> yeah. 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 He's all like he's gray looking. He's a little yeah. yellow <laughs> testicle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he is annoying as hell. Yeah. I don't like him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's not very likable. His, like... His contribution to this show is just like hanging around and commentating on the fights. Mm. Pretty much. Constantly, it can't be. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all his lines. Yeah. All his yeah. lines. He's just constantly caught off guard by everything. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Reaver's whole Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Inuyasha, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> The wrong anime. Anyways. <laughs> but it's it's that's it's a whole thing about anime and shonen like that, right? You have to have somebody narrate it, yeah. it a little bit or have the characters like say what's happening. And in this show, the way everyone's leveling up and leveling up their power and yeah. discovering new techniques, it's always like, what? They've reached that level of power? Yeah. But like literally I've heard that rhetoric a thousand times yeah. now in eight seasons. Oh, At it, this point, it would just be like, hey, he went a little higher. <laughs> hey, hey, good job. You went a little higher. Not like, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's what it is every time, man. Yeah, and it doesn't stop. No. No, it doesn't. It, it keeps on going. Yeah. It keeps on going. Keep the hype. Wait, wait. Ha, ha, I can't remember because, again, like I haven't, I didn't do a rewatch. But that's all right. I'm happy to remind you of yeah. everything that goes down. Has he met three at this point? Like power level three? Uh, no. Super Saiyan three? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did? oh, you have. Yeah. So, oh, that that's a how fucking far did you get? Holy yeah. shit! Super Saiyan three. Like so, I who, started who, my 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 skin, but I did not get far very far. So yeah. uh, we'll get we'll get to it obviously. Okay, okay, but, okay, okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. You're deeper than I thought then. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's talk about Boo then. Uh, uh, yes. I hate him. Really? Yep. You'll grow to love him. No, he, I hate him a lot. You'll love he's, him. I love him. He, look, he's he's so cute. I love him. No. He's cute. I no. don't think so. Here's my biggest qualm <laughs> with Boo, okay? <laughs> okay. I feel like Boo, the whole bibbity bobbity boo thing, mm -hmm. was like a bad call for the final enemy. And hear me out. Because the mm. best call for the final enemy would have been Cell. No. Because Cell has the storyline of having the time the time travel, the, the androids, the DNA, the DNA of, of, yeah. of all of them. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo are just some lunatic alien wizards. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Bury them in the middle. Yeah. And make Cell your last bad guy. Yeah, but you haven't met Boo Boo. I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, he, I'm not yeah. saying he doesn't become crazier and more intense, but I'm saying storyline wise, yeah. Cell is the is the is the final boss. Yeah, I can see the whole like him trying to redeem himself. But you, we the thing is we get that with Frieza. Frieza was a perfect first enemy though. Yeah. He's perfect for that. And Frieza is always going to be kind of there, yeah. right? Like from what I understand, I haven't seen the last of Frieza you've told me. Yes, <laughs> you haven't, right? Yeah. Um but I do I do think that like Cell would have been the better bad guy at the end for mm -hmm. me because Boo. I'm like, why? Why is this? I understand power. He's more powerful, mm -hmm. more dangerous. But like, it's not as interesting as Cell. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like a random wizard made a monster, and that random wizard's son has now released the monster. Mm -hmm. That's not interesting. It's very interesting. I don't disagree. He looks like a pink yellow poop. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't With like little that. steam steam holes. <laughs> I'm not. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, and the other thing too is again, this is a power scaling thing. But like, I think he only seems more powerful because, like, we see people die. We see him killing and eating people. Like again, Nappa destroyed whole cities at a time the same mm -hmm. way Boo does. Mm -hmm. You know, one power blast. Mm -hmm. But Boo does it, and we're like, we're so much more scared now. Yeah, but again, yeah. it's power power scaling, and yeah. we we don't have to get in the weeds about it. But 
No, I, I actually, I would tend to agree with you, dude, that, like, as far as, like, a, a real great finale villain, Cell mm -hmm. had a little bit more punch. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. obvi obviously, like, they wrote it so that these characters would be more powerful, and these were the characters that push the main characters, to, you know, to their ultimate heights type yeah. of deal, right? And, like, it very easily could have just been swapped. Yeah. Ult ultimately, I guess, right? Yeah. Like, you'll see, w you know, why these characters are, like... You know, a, yeah. a scarier threat or maybe more <clears throat> powerful than Cell. Sure. Like, you will. Like, yeah. no yeah. doubt, right? Like, a, they write that in. Of course, you fucking mm -hmm. will, right? They're the big bad villains in the end. Yeah. But I think, yeah, from like a narrative, like, backing standpoint, Cell, like, really does just. He's all of them. Yeah. He's the culmination. He's the perfect organism. He, he should yeah. be perfect. more scary to them because not only, uh, okay, make swap their power levels, him and Boo. Yeah. Not only is he now super powerful, but he's also them. That's what and I has mean, all their yeah. moves and all there's their like, intuitions. There's, there's a personal element to it yeah. That, yeah. that is missing with yeah. these, like you said, pink alien mm. monster creatures. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of kitty. Yeah. And yeah, like, yeah. I mean, that's foreshadowing, but. Yeah. And, I, and, I, um, and I think. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Shut up! Stop um, it! <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> now, one thing I'll say, sorry to interrupt, but like about Cell is they wrote in a lot of things in Cell Cell's storyline that happened had to happen early. Mm -hmm. For example, introducing eighteen. Yes. For example, sure. introducing Trunks. Yes. Yeah. The All that stuff had to happen androids. before now. You know what I mean? Tie in with the androids yeah. for sure. Yeah, I yeah. get that. Um, but you know, it, either way, like it. I think there was some dissatisfaction when the manga was happening as well with like where things went after the Cell saga because mm -hmm. yeah. that was so hype and then people really did feel like oh like the Boo saga, it feels like a stretching out yeah. of yeah. this story yeah to see how much legs it could have to me it was just another one yeah mm -hmm. another one I the mean, only the only reason it's not that though like yeah. I said is because we get to see our characters pushed to new heights that we otherwise wouldn't get to see. And for yeah. that, except, to me, it's worth it. Except yeah. you would have. Well, yeah. You would have. But but you know what it is, too? Here's a thing. Maybe. You would have, dude. Yeah. There, we <laughs> Switch them, and we're still going Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, we would have gone Super Saiyan you know 3. I mean? like, but that's the that's the whole premise of the show, right? You just get more and more powerful, Yeah. blah, blah, blah. But it's just how they end up in those, like, having to push themselves to get to that power level, right? Yeah. So yeah, they always I, have to be battling somebody that's slightly stronger that they can still obtain and reach yeah. to a level that they and can And that could have been Cell. I get could've it. Been yeah. It could have been Cell. It could have been anybody. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I didn't see it written that way, so I don't have that frame of reference yeah. in my head. You know sure. what I mean? I only have the one I was given, yeah. so that's yeah. the one in my head that works... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, we established yeah. that nostalgia plays yeah. a lot into the enjoyment it's, of the show. It's big true. Time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. yeah. It, it, but now that you put that idea in my head, it would have been cool. Like, Baby Diabobity Boo shows up, and, like, you know, Boo is the, the most powerful like villain they've come across yeah but then all of a sudden you know cell shows up out of nowhere eats boo and then just goes like crazy like next level sure they could have done it like that yeah. yeah or or imagine like if they like like found some crazy way to like resurrect frieza and he came back and like they like <laughs> made it into like a movie <laughs> That would have been fire, doggy. Yeah. Yeah. What I do guess. you think? Yeah. 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 I think I'm gonna have to experience that. Is my yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, All right. But the, All right. the one thing I will say at this point, it should have been a story about uh, Gohan. That's what. That's my 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 thing. They they even tried to make him important. We'll get mm -hmm. there. They even tried to make him be the most important part at the first half of this season, mm -hmm. right? He was the, the catalyst for bringing them and, like, the kidnapping and everything, right? They're mm -hmm. like, we need Gohan's power. We need his power. Yeah. And but, then he fucks off. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. For, like, is, the whole season. Yeah. Yeah. At that point, that would have been the, the connection to possibly going into that future Gohan without the arm timeline that I would have loved to have seen. Like, I want to still see that storyline yeah. and how that goes and that timeline. Well, maybe like, one day. Maybe one day. Maybe you should write it. <sighs> yeah, do a fanfic of it. I'm sure yeah. there's a fanfic of it somewhere out there. You'll make it super dark and horny, though. I would make it so dark. I Maybe not actually make it very horny, because Dragon Ball does, Z doesn't totally fit that horny side, but it... But that's why you can, in fanfic you can do it. That's very true. Ah. I, I guess technically he would be older at that point, and it's no longer going to be a shonen. So I would, yeah, I would make it super dark. And horny. And horny. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Jay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the mental gymnastics out of you have to do just to like hang out on this podcast. Yeah, just be like, sorry, how can I help? How can I be part of this conversation? <laughs> Anyways, Gohan. You want, I don't really actually have much to talk about with him in this season until we get to plot. Right. Yeah. And and like I will just say, like, that's not forever. Yeah. I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. We've talked about it in past episodes that he ends up being kind of the main character. Well, no, like, no, the, no, no, that, no, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but it, he is. It, a... it felt that way, I would say, right up until the end of the Cell games. Okay. Because he gets the final yeah. hit, right? And, like, it, it really felt poised at that point that the torch was being passed. Right. But then we established, right, like, great Saiyan man and him turning into, like, this bookworm. This yeah. stupid you know what I mean? Shit. It kind of. It pulls it, removes him from the game. Pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah. At that point, they were like, all right, like, people audience testing has decided that Goku is still the most popular character. For sure. He needs to stay the main character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and he definitely obviously is from here on out like yeah. for the rest of eternity. Yeah. Um but I will say like Gohan's not doesn't fuck off forever. No, mm-hmm. for till sure. the end of the show. Nobody yeah. ever does. No. <laughs> That's how the show works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, nobody dies. Speaking of <laughs> Goku. Yeah. Let's talk about him for a second. Mm-hmm. He's dead this whole season. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> but also he he's dead but like he, he only had 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this season kind of conveniently lasts exactly 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 This whole thing kind of conveniently All wraps up, up right yeah. into it for him. Yeah. 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 That's uh, super convenient. It's very convenient. It's actually really good writing. I mean, <laughs> someone wrote it that way. Yeah. 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 It's a really good writing. Yeah. I mean, it, someone wrote it. <laughs> uh, also, and again, we'll talk about now, I guess, Super Saiyan 3. Yes. Which is okay. a huge move. Huge. Yeah. So what did you think of the appearance of Super Saiyan 3? I mean, it could have been more. Yeah? Y- you could. It could have been more. I mean, really, he just had more hair. Yeah. And in a cooler shape, because it actually fell like hair does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, like, he had this, like, Cro-Magnon brow line <laughs> pop out. Yeah. 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 No brows. No yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> but, like, but, but, like, a bone where they yeah. were. Yeah. 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 Uh, and also, like, so muscly, I assume now that he can't, like, lift his head. <laughs> like, yeah, the angle of his neck is this <laughs> all the time. Yeah. 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 He's always got that looking down, down. Yeah. like, chin down. Yeah. 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 He kind of looked like uh, if, uh, if Blanco fucked Ken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If Blanco Maybe. did the fusion dance with, yeah. with Ken. Yeah. Fusion yeah. dance with Ken. Super Saiyan yeah. 3 Goku. <laughs> there hey, you go. It's so true. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, um, it was. Yeah, I'm sure electric, you can imagine. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm sure you can imagine like the hype that that was mm. as young children. I to, guess, to witness. man. I, I feel like it's annoying to me because <clears throat> it's not. There's not much there. He just screams a whole bunch mm-hmm. and then goes, "Yeah, I'm Super Saiyan three. <laughs> yeah, but like when you think about like something that like only existed in like printed off sheets of paper passed around the schoolyard. Or Super like, Saiyan three, you mean? Yeah, or like mm-hmm. in some like r- fucking ripped off video game that's like you yeah. know mm-hmm. fi- final bout from Japan, like some random shit that your older cousin played or your your yeah. your friend or you go had over or your something. buddy's place. Yeah. yeah, get that one like ten minute clip that they got and then recorded, and then so it's like this weird like sort of mythical thing in your head that you know exists uh, okay. but kind of not in your world. Yeah, and then one day you come home from school, and it's and that there. normal familiar place of you watching cartoons after school. Yeah, you're watching your normal Dragon Ball Z that seems to never really get to the fucking end. Yeah, yeah. always restarts at <laughs> yeah. some point. Yeah. Annoyingly, there's always another one. Yeah, and you always just got to go right back to the beginning of the Saiyan yeah. saga mm-hmm. or fucking Namek saga or something. Yeah. And then finally, you're seeing Super Saiyan 3 on your TV at home. Yeah. And you're looking so over good. your brother, and you're just like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah. Finally, man. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking here. And then yeah. you're calling your buddies up, being like, did you watch Dragon Ball Z today? Yeah. <laughs> on the house phone. Yeah. 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 Um, you know what it is? I, I feel like Jordy's too much of a nice guy to enjoy sh- like battle shonen like I, like is that? I can't tell nice if that's guy? a what compliment. Do you, what do you mean by that? A backhanded <laughs> oh, insult. Let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> yeah. Look, because it's like you're not a very violent person. True. Right. You're not violent. You're not mean. You're not. You're not like. You're just a nice guy. Continue. And not, not in like the, the sense like you know I'm a nice guy, like creepy, but like you're you're just a sweet man. And so because you don't like violence. You don't enjoy violence in the same way that like Jay and I would enjoy violence. I'm not a sweet man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, I'm, I'm a do real do rotten guy. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 shut up here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> er. no, like, we're, we're Jay. So Jay, you know, <laughs> Jay's done Muay Thai. He's here, and he's done like other combat sports. Yeah. And there's there's a, there's a part of him that enjoys that kind of stuff, right? You know, I've done judo and Muay Thai myself, and like there's stuff like that where there's a really aggressive side to us. Yeah, and I like hug people and like sh give compliments. Yeah. And so because of that, <laughs> you just don't have that side that battles. Is that where really the enjoyment of Dragon Ball Z comes from? The like loving the violence and the fighting and relating to that. I, I think so. Like in in a way where it's like, it, you're just you're just powered up. You get psyched up. Like and you just it's like watching you know an MMA fight, right? Like and you want your yeah. your fighter to win. Yeah. Right. And so so you just you get all like hyped up and jacked up on that. Like naturally, like yeah, like a lot of like MMA fighters, UFC fighters, really love like shonen anime. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like. 90% of them have like some weird nerd shit nowadays because it's all our yeah. generation now yeah, are the pro, sure. top pro fighters, right? Like, and I guess the yeah. concept is like believe in yourself and work hard and train harder and, train and, you'll, hard. and you'll beat the enemy. Train, yeah. train, yeah, train, yeah, yeah, train, yeah. eat, train, sleep. Like mm -hmm. that, yeah. that whole lifestyle is very right, conducive yeah. to it, right? And not to say that that's like why I connected to it as a, an eight year old who. Oh, had, a had, a, <laughs> had a distant dream of doing. <laughs> oh, that is how I. Had, had a, dis a distant dream of doing Muay Thai when I was 30. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, you know, that wasn't like why I, I was yeah. into it, like, more so, like I said, because, like, there was this mythology to it, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Like, it, it was one of those things that trickled over from Japan in these limited ways. Mm -hmm. And the more limited and, and secretive and, and Japanese the thing the mm. cooler it was yeah mm. you know and so that's why like you know we'll get into dragon ball gt eventually mm -hmm. which was the series that came after z where like that was japan only for the longest time yeah mm -hmm. and it was not technically it canon was either. legendary mm -hmm. yeah as a kid like gt was like y you only ever just heard about it yeah and and well, played again it? random yeah. video games yeah. that, that were not in english right it was hard to get, man. Mm -hmm. It was it was rare. It was there was, a, I don't know, man. There, it, you put it on a pedestal as a kid, in a weird way. All right. Yeah, you do. I so gotcha. so so when you when you see it, like I said, when you see it on fucking YTV or something like really yeah. easily accessible to just anybody, you're like, holy shit, this really obscure thing I've been obsessed with for years. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> in the mainstream yeah. on TV. Yeah. That's so yeah. fucking wild to me. Yeah, yeah, I can just watch it. It's yeah, just I can on. Watch it's on. It. And yeah. also the animation gets better in GT. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like it's cool. Yeah. So mine is all that. Plus, and, and I'm uh, just an angry little kid. Yeah, he yeah. likes violence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I get that, knowing you two. Yeah. That yeah. tracks. <laughs> all right. Yeah, man. Uh, well, well, uh, Super Saiyan three was rare, dude. Yes. I'll just yeah. say that there was a rarity to this form. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's talk about other characters like mm -hmm. like Vegeta. Vegeta, uh, who still in the midst of his Majin shit. He, well, before he he hasn't got into it. He hasn't got into he it. He gets yet. into it in this season. Sure. Mm -hmm. There you go. And out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it, he it's funny because. It, during all this, still, all he gives a fuck about is fighting Goku. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's very vocal about it. Yeah. It's really cemented. It's the whole here. reason he takes on the... Exactly. Yes. And, in fact, Goku's the one who calls him out on And he's like, what? No. No. But you can see it on his face, like, fuck, yeah, I did do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely <laughs> did that. Yep. Yeah. That's why yep. I did that. Yep. And yeah. that's, like, a, that's a, a, so ingrained in his character. Because yeah. Power. Uh, power yeah. hungry. Power, power, power hungry. Power. Well, I mean, if we get we get his total character and his a lot of his motivation from the beginning when they first come and he gets defeated by totally goku and and yeah. everybody right because everybody thought at first he was the most powerful saiyan yeah and then eventually yeah when he has trunks and all that like his motivations change and his you know not prerogative. yet uh, i guess yeah he's got trunks he's got trunks but still like, singularly motivated yes and, but, he <laughs> has, but he does have things that he does there's other things that he does care about yeah when right? there's no big bad guy to fight He's yeah. less concerned about beating the shit out of Goku. When there's a big bad guy and everyone's fighting him, he's like, stop, man. Yeah. This is the real fight. Yeah. That's what he keeps saying. Yeah. It's, this is the reason we're all here, right? Yeah. Me and Goku. Yeah. 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 I am the star of the show. Yeah. yeah. And everyone else is like, uh, no, there's yeah. a giant uh, Existential piece threat. of bubble gum yeah. floating in the sky. We have to fight that. Uh, piece of bubble gum yeah. floating mm -hmm. in the sky. They fucking uh, mm -hmm. also go out of their way to make Vegeta look small. It's hilarious to me. 
Mm-hmm. It's very funny to me. He's yeah. just a little baby boy. He's, He's a, a little, little baby, baby boy. boy. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about him. We'll get into what happens to him later on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I guess the only other person worth talking about, even though I only got a brief introduction to him, is Gotenks. Yes. yes. Who I don't know whether to call him or them. I guess it's him, the way him. they describe it. Yeah, him. He's it's one a singular being. entity, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, who, like, again, I, I feel like we lose Goten in this fusion. Well, almost that. completely. You, you do. Which is a bit of a shame to me, because there is an opportunity to have a fusion, mm-hmm. and they just made it trunks, look, but look different. Yeah. No, I don't think they made them look trunks. I think Not they look, just... Not look. Like, act. Act. But they even, like... Like trunks to the max, like arrogant max. A little max, right? Trunks, but like they grew them up a couple years. Uh, yeah, I can go. So, with that. so what is what is a balanced Gotenks look? I don't like know, to you? but there's no Gohan in, or um, uh, Goten in it. Yeah, like there's mm-hmm. got to be some sort of like kindness or like a little like. Uh, uh, what's innocence. The, innocence. Innocence. And there's not. Yeah, but you know what? I think it tracks this way because they're still both two little kids, and now they've just doubled in power, if not more. Yeah. And now, if I was a kid and I doubled in power out of nowhere just by fusing, yeah. I would become really bratty because they're already brats. And then but just if you're being Goten, extra brat. If you're Goten, though, you might be like, whoa, how cool is this? Okay. If you're yes. Trunks, you might be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I will yeah. say, like, you obviously haven't seen all of Go Go Tanks. Mm. Sure. No, not even. I scratched you're, the surface. You're actually like perfectly describing him. Yeah. Because and you'll see like through more of his behavior. Yeah. There is a childlike mm-hmm. playfulness to him yeah. in everything that he does. Okay. Even in yeah, his attacks. I guess that's true. And 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 his special moves, yeah. the names he has for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There is a very uh, kiddish quality okay. to him. Mm-hmm. That definitely comes out when he's not being arrogant, tough guy. Yeah. I can handle this trunks mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The rest of the time, he's definitely goofy, childlike Goten. Yeah, goofy, yeah. child, playful. Totally, dude. But all just right. give it some time. Okay. That's stuff. Spoiler. Will... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But that is that is the character. That's all right. That you'll see. You're f- welcome to spoil. Yeah. 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 That's kind of on brand. All that for goofy us. Yeah. shit will fucking yeah. destroy the planet, though. Yeah. Wow, that's a, that's a big spoiler, Cer- I guess. Yeah. Cer- certainly could. Certainly cool. could. <laughs> Cer- yeah, yeah. yeah, that certainly could. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, there's a couple other characters who are much more minor who will just glaze over in the mm. plot, but I think we're good to move on. Yeah. You guys feel cozy and comfy? That's fine. Okay, yeah. so we oh, start wait. off. Uh, if you guys want to subscribe and like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike is like, oh, oh shit. shit. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. I'm not. E- That's I didn't it. Even... You're just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna leave it there. Subscribe, like, leave a notification or not a no- Turn on your notifications. Yeah. Discord. Write a comment, score. Leave us a review, please. Love you. I Tell love a you. Tell a friend. Yes. Discord. Discord. Yes. Dixcord. Uh, Dixcord. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even try this time. No, I just it's fucking okay. threw it in you there. You got it in there, and you, we got yeah. it out of there. All you right. Got so. You got it out of there. You got it out of there. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, here's who we're hanging out with right now. We got Goku, who's dead, by the way, as mm-hmm. we established. Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Gohan, Kibito, and the Supreme Kai, and Videl. They mm-hmm. all take off from the martial arts tournament mm-hmm. because uh, the two fucking big goons. Spopovich. Yeah. Spopovich. <laughs> They've flown away. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Do they have Gohan or they don't? I don't remember if they have Gohan or not. But anyways, they all fly off after these two motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we get a backstory on the new enemy, which we already have. But, like, you know, Bibbidi made Boo and destroyed a bunch of galaxies. Then he, like, trapped Boo in a ball. Bobbity is Bibbidi's kid and wants to use very specifically Gohan's power mm-hmm. to release Boo because he needs more power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, then Bobbity, we find out, uses magic to like control people. He's a wizard, because I guess there's wizards in Dragon Ball Z as well, too. Great. Yeah. Yes. And now he's here on Earth. But you should have known that when we had Grandma fucking... What's her name? Does he know about her? Shouldn't he? She's like in it like three times. Who are we talking about? The little witch lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little... She like takes Goku back and forth from the afterlife? Yeah. 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 What, is she a wizard? Yeah, she uses I don't magic. Know. She's a witch, I guess. I don't know witch. what the fuck she is. She kind of looks like a witch, though. She just yeah, shows up dope. and like talks shit and then I takes know. Gohan and Goku away. So. I'm actually surprised you remember her. I actually. remember her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well all right. done. So, yeah. uh, Bobbity, he came to Earth on a spaceship. And so now we've like arrived at his spaceship and he's outside talking with the two goons. He's also got this like King of the Demon World guy, Debura. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 
who is like literally just looks like Mr. The Satan, devil. but actually Satan. But actually the devil. So, yeah, yeah, actually the devil. <laughs> and literally yeah. he is just the devil. devil. Yep. That's yeah. his character. It's what he looks like. Yeah. The devil. Um, I, I will say Toriyama is notorious for really liking to draw like devil like characters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anybody who's ever read Sandland, um, which actually has an anime coming up as well, which is really, really cool to see. Um, the main character is like a little devil boy, basically. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Deborah gets basically instructed or talks with Babidi to like kill the two goons. Mm -hmm. So they're dead. Uh, and everyone watching is totally shook. And I'm like, why though? Why? <laughs> There's a lot of powerful people you've yeah. seen. They're all killing each other and people. Like, don't be so surprised. Power you know I mean? scaling. You know and, what I think it is? And in my head, sorry, go ahead. Because I think at this point, because we had Super Saiyan Man, right? Yeah. And we had that arc, right? And then we're going into the, the tournament arc and then now into the, to this. It was, there was so much like base level, like real world yeah. kind of powers yeah. that <clears throat> was kind of like a palate cleanser for, for everybody. And that's what he was trying to use as like a reset. Well, yeah, it's the classic, as Jay put it, I think, in mm -hmm. the last last episode or earlier this episode, the classic pullback to then yeah, relaunch. We relaunch. said that earlier. Yeah. 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 You have exactly. to intentionally. And, so, and yeah. so the thing is, is like they can fool stupid idiots like you. No. With that. We know. But they're not fooling me, and they really shouldn't be fooling people like Goku and the Supreme Kai. <laughs> like These people should not be so surprised at this. <laughs> okay. But they are. Yes, that's fair. You know what I mean? Anyways. Mm -hmm. Now, also on top of this, I'm looking at Deborah being like, this guy's also clearly a low-level goon. We're going to mm. kill him soon, too. Anyways, that's how the show goes. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> uh, Bobbity and Deborah, they, like, sense the team's presence. And Deborah goes after them on Bobbity's command. And he's, like, immediately kills Kibito, turns him into Pink Mist. Mm -hmm. Just disintegrates him into the air. And starts spitting on people, because apparently one of his powers is when he spits on you, you turn to stone. Yep. Because that's what the devil does. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, and so Piccolo and Krillin are turned to stone. Mm -hmm. Out of the game. Okay, so Gohan, Vegeta, Goku, and Supreme Kai then head into the spaceship. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have to fight their way through, quote-unquote, many levels to get to Boo. And I'm like, fuck me, this is going to be painful. Because <laughs> how many levels and how many monsters are we going to have to fucking fight? Yeah. They fight a few monsters. We don't even need to get into them. They're transported to different planets each time yeah. they fight, and they're having a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. They're, like, kind of having fun. And the Supreme Kai is, like, not enjoying that they're having fun and doesn't understand it. But it's a Saiyan thing, yeah. right? We got three Saiyans and Supreme Kai. Yeah. He doesn't get it. He's not going to get it. No, nope. he's not going to get it. Yeah. But he should get it because he knows the, the Saiyan race. But again, this show's written poorly and stupid. So <laughs> well, he doesn't get it. Well, it's written incredibly well. Mm -hmm. There's no plot holes. There's I no mean, power level meanwhile, discrepancies. <laughs> meanwhile, this is happening. Goten and Trunks are still doing the Muppet Man thing at the World Tournament. <laughs> yeah. They're Mighty Mask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also 18 and Satan are still in the tournament. I'm going to keep calling him Satan. That's fine. Uh, That's but fine. they're still in the tournament. It's winding down. It's like a, they, they're like, well, since there's only four people left, let's just like have a melee last man standing wins. Mm -hmm. Somehow, 18 can't tell she's fighting two children. Despite the fact that everyone else can sense power levels and can sense each other, despite the fact there's a literal hole cut out in this shirt with two eyes sticking out of it, right? There's no plot holes, though, Mikey, right? There's no plot this holes. This show's written really well. This is peak literature that we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, for sure. She's literally describing how weird it is and saying, I just can't figure it out. Anyways, um, and Mr. Satan is just a bumbling idiot as always. This whole fight is dumb as hell, but mm -hmm. let me tell you, there's something stupidly fucking brilliant about Goten and Trunks in the Mighty Mask together <laughs> foreshadowing fusion yeah, to yeah. the point where I'm angry at how how like how much clever that it? is yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm upset about it <laughs> I like it, man. Uh, it bothered See? me. Peak writing. Yeah, they got they got one. <laughs> they got one. They got one. Toriyama's good, man. All you need yeah. is one. Except that right after that, 18 throws the tournament for money. She just yeah. basically says like, "Why don't you just pay me a bunch of money and I'll let you win?" <laughs> well, I mean, which is not in character for her either, might I add? Not. No, not. dude. Why not? She's a fuck everybody, I'll kill everybody kind of mentality. She's not, a, she's a, I'll murder you. Not what does a, she need not, money not, for, not dude? A, she's got a kid. Yeah, she's got a family to support. She's human now. She's human. I guess so, man. She's like. Is she, she fully human now? They did some shit to yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
right? Yeah. And so, and that, yeah. not to mention, like, at that point, it's not about, she doesn't care about ego. Like, she doesn't care about winning a tournament. Yeah. That's made for, like, petty little she humans. Have, though. She would have wanted to just be the, the strongest. That was kind of her character. Like, I'm str- fuck everybody. I'm stronger than all you fucks. I can beat the fuck out of all of you. But, but she knows that she's so high above everyone. That it doesn't matter that anymore. That it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right? So to me, she always felt very indifferent, though, dude. Even when that's, she yeah, was, even back you. when she was with 17, 17 was kind of the aggressor. That's true. And mm-hmm. she was just hanging around uh, 17. Fine. Like, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. She, that's what I mean. She yeah. always just seemed kind of like rolling her eyes. Like, fine, I'll fucking destroy you, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Vegeta, fucking leg broken. You yeah. know what I mean? Her arm <laughs> broken, yeah. one kick. You know? Just right. fucks him Fair up. Fair enough. You're right. Yeah. I'm wrong about that. So, like, for her to just be human now and just to be like, fuck it. I want to get paid. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, actually, this <laughs> checks out with 18. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. She's kind of a bad bitch like that. Okay. Do, you, do you think that that's how like she had sex with like Krillin? Like fuck it, oh, fine, fine. <laughs> all right. I I yeah I, I think that I yeah. <laughs> I question how how fired up she was about that. Yeah. Uh, compared to Krillin, oh, fine. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. She was just like all right. Krillin's like a little rabbit. Krillin's just like oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think she Are would probably done? be like, okay, yeah, cool, let's do this, yeah. right? Like, just more like happy about it, and, but not like overly excited like Curlin would be. I yeah. can't see her being happy ever. Is she ever happy? <laughs> she is <laughs> sometimes, and okay. she and also like you can see it later on in Super where she, you know and she's just a pure mom. Yeah, yeah, she's mom like goes mom style, right? Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Okay, so the fight at the world tournament is finally fucking over Mm -hmm. and Trunks and Gohan head off towards the spaceship to catch up with the other fighters. They're not supposed to, Mm -hmm. but they go anyways. Uh, Back at the spaceship, Dabura now is fighting. They fought a couple monsters. Now they have to fight Dabura. He's one-on-one-ing with Gohan. Dabura has a sword and I'm like, how is a sword scary in this show? (laughs) <laughs> Why is that scary at all? It's the pullback. When there's yeah. exactly the when there's any dream, to but, the Stone Ages. There's just yeah. a lot of those it's, before it, the launch forward. Yeah, so there's the just trunks, a lot of those. <laughs> the, the yeah. broken trunk sword. A lot of those. Anyways, it turns out they're really scared for a second, but then it's not scary because Gohan just breaks it in half immediately. Yeah. Vegeta and Goku. Vegeta's talking shit about Goku during all this because this is he's really getting into his like this is dumb. Can we just fight already mode? Mm-hmm. And Debora kind of hears him. He's like, hmm, I think. I I have an idea <laughs> and he flies off to Bobby and he's like let's just leave them to fight themselves yeah they'll just fight themselves yeah. mm-hmm. and, and uh, Bobby's like hey good idea mm-hmm. we'll generate power for boo that way from their fight we don't even have to be involved mm-hmm. and it actually works good because writing. again good the writing. more Saiyans fight and beat each other up the more powerful, powerful they get, get yes. right um, and like then Bobbity endless ba- uh, energy source yeah. Basically, yeah and so to make it even better before they even fight Bobbity uses some sort of crazy weird magic to turn Vegeta into Majin Vegeta. Yes. So Ma- Vegeta gets a pretty nifty tattoo on his forehead, mm-hmm. and he's like a little angrier and yeah. a little more powerful, basically. Yes. So now we get Majin Vegeta versus Goku. Vegeta is like super OP now, uh, and he like full on sucker punches Goku. Like they're fighting, but then he's also like a little fucking weasel, <laughs> which yeah. tracks for him. Cause this yeah. is like old Vegeta coming out again, yeah. which yeah. is what they're teasing this whole season. Right. Which is, which was really cool again to see like for people that, you know, had endured this whole show. Yeah. Watching Vegeta go on this crazy, crazy arc all of a sudden, like Turn. revert back. Yeah. You always knew it was there. Yeah. It, and it was going to come out, but yeah. like to see it now on such a grand scale, it was, it yeah. was very hype. I remember mm-hmm. Majin Vegeta was very, very hype. As very hype. Yeah. 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 But and like that's the other thing too, right? Like we all, we've always known his motives. Yeah. Right. Anytime he gets fired up, it's just his attention naturally goes to Goku. Yeah. yeah right? For sure. No matter what. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so at this point, we already established Goku kind of calls him out for allowing Babidi to control him. He's like, "You could have fought that off, but you mm. let it happen for a little <laughs> more power." He's like, "You're basically he's like you're a piece of shit." Yeah. And yeah. she's like, "Oh." No. Totally berates him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, he, but in the, you can see he's yeah. like, yeah, I did do that. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't stop him. He takes to, down Goku. He takes yeah. him down. I forget what move. It was probably something cool, but he takes him down. Final Flash? Final Flash or Big no. Bang or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, Final Flash. Um, isn't Final Flash? Uh, uh, final Flash is Vegeta. Yeah, Final yeah. Flash is Vegeta. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, so. But, yeah, like there, there have been like a few moments in time through Dragon Ball history yeah. where it's arguable like that Vegeta was like truly more powerful than Goku. Majin mm-hmm. Vegeta might have been the time. This there there were moments through this little fight mm-hmm. and this little skirmish here where yeah. people, you know, and and even the creators would say that like yeah, like Vegeta was like was outranking Goku through mm-hmm. most of this. Here's the weird thing. We'll get to it later, but like while this is all happening, we don't even know 
because it hasn't happened yet. But like Goku ha- can go Super Saiyan three at this point. He just mm-hmm. doesn't yet. Yes. Yes. So I don't think Vegeta is more powerful. But if he Goku doesn't, Goku just knows but, that he's like, I'm not gonna die, and I'm not gonna go Super Saiyan three for for Vegeta. But but yeah. if but if but, <laughs> right, but if but if Vegeta kills Goku before Goku goes Super then Saiyan three, the end, yeah. mm-hmm. then it doesn't fucking matter if Goku yeah. could have gone Except Super that, Saiyan three. Goku's already dead. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to know that he can beat up Goku. Yeah. And he just want it's the ego. Yeah. Right? It's, for it's sure. yeah, it's the pride and ego that Saiyans have. Yeah, exactly. Um okay, so meanwhile, Supreme Kai and Gohan still in the spaceship. They go they get down to Boo's egg or whatever finally. Mm-hmm. And because of the Vegeta Goku fight, somehow that power went into Boo. I don't know mm-hmm. how, it doesn't matter, I guess. They just find A wizard it. did it. Yep. Magic. Um, and, and we know uh, how much you love magic. And he comes out. Mm-hmm. And he's a fucking giant pink baby in a diaper. <laughs> and he literally looks literally a diaper. Yeah. Sounds like a baby, is mm-hmm. a baby. Uh, and he immediately starts beating the fuck out of Supreme Kai, like fucking him up. Yes. And Supreme Kai is not having a good time. No. Nope. Uh, and he blasts Gohan with an energy, something or other, just away. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gone. Also, it's real quick rewind. Um, the beginning of the fight, Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. Goku doesn't want to fight Vegeta. Yeah. So in order to convince Goku to fight, Vegeta just like completely destroys like several city blocks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and part of the stands at the World Tournament. Yes. Yeah. Murdering <laughs> thousands people. of people. Yeah. 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 Murdering yeah. thousands. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Go on. That and did what's happen. Fun, yeah. What's funny is he gets gets that pass. Later. Of course he does. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Yeah, that's a good point. No one ever really mentions that again. <laughs> Mass murder. Mass. Really well written. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely redeemable. Yeah. Keep writing, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Are you yeah, kidding yeah. me? This guy can come back from that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can. He he doesn't Lapse live. in judgment. Yeah. yeah. He, he doesn't uh, live he, by he human Majin. standards. He has the, had the Majin. Yeah. yeah. That's not him. Yeah. That's not, that's not our Vegeta. You know yeah. what? Brain fart. Yeah. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, oops. oops. Anyways. Okay, so um, what's going on? Okay, Devorah turns tail and throws a spear through Boo. Mm-hmm. He's basically like, I don't I don't know what his deal is. He just like wasn't having Boo. I guess he wanted to be Bobby's guy. He was never down on board with Boo. Or maybe when Boo came out, he was like, mm, not this fucking baby. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happens. So he tries to kill Boo. It doesn't even work. Boo just like pulls the spear out. He turns Devorah into... A cookie. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> and eats him. <laughs> yep. And this is the beginning of some twisted cannibal shit that is somehow silly as hell. Yeah, yeah man. Somehow they made cannibalism or like the eating of many human beings mm-hmm. into like a silly joke. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's, but doesn't that track for like, you know, for what? Evil fucking twisted villains? Yeah. Right? Like, oh, if you have an evil, twisted villain doing weird, twisted shit, like, yeah. that makes sense. It's just how silly it is. But that, that, cookie, also, but that also so, tracks, I think, for, like, Dragon Ball and, like, yeah. Toriyama's style. Like, he's, yeah. he's always really balanced that, like, goofy, whimsical yeah. silliness with, yeah. like, world-ending existential threats. You're right. Yeah. Like, he really walks that line. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so and it, it's going to keep happening. People keep getting turned into food and eaten by this yeah. mm-hmm. fucking and, thing. And Jordy? It's going to keep happening. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so Devorah dead now, so all of his statues come back to life. So Piccolo, Piccolo and Krillin, mm-hmm. which, by the way, Piccolo's statue had been shattered by Trunks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And comes back, and Trunks has a moment where he shits his pants. It's like, oh, oh I fucked up. up. <laughs> but then we remember, oh, wait, they, they can uh, regenerate. Yeah. yeah. So it's no big deal. Uh, Boo is turning back on uh, Supreme Kai, and, and he's literally he's like, I'm going to turn this one to jelly. And he's so <laughs> excited about it. But just as he's about to do it, Vegeta destroys Bobbity's ship, creating a massive diversion, mm-hmm. and everything. everyone turns. So now we get Majin Vegeta versus Boo, because Boo's like, you know, Bobbity's like, that one. Yeah. And he's like, okay, let's go. Vegeta has like a Death Wish level rage attack. He's like, mm-hmm. at this point, he's like, I- I'm just going to go entire full force like, mm-hmm. I already AI Goku. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm just going to go full force now on this motherfucker. At first, it's all hand to hand Street Fighter style fighting, mm-hmm. which I was like, okay. I actually think that's kind of cool for Vegeta because he's like, I'm not even wasting time with it. I'm just going to fucking punch this guy to death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is pretty I cool. I'm going to do it with my fucking yeah. hands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's just <laughs> raging out so hard that it feels yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. Um, and usually, most of the time when they do that, they're also just trying to get a feel for each other. 
For sure. They yeah. always do that. Sometimes yeah. they're like, I wasn't even going full power yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That happens a lot, too. <laughs> so while this is happening, Boo's regenerating like nothing happened to him. Vegeta blows a massive hole through Boo, and it's still like nothing. Mm -hmm. But that scene was artistically really cool. The lighting and framing, like they, it was like went silent for a second, and everything turned black. Mm -hmm. It was cool. I like that. Made a note about it. <laughs> um, there we go. Things we like. There yes. You go. So, so, like, yeah, man, they, were, they were pushing the art. They were making some choices here. And for there sure. To, like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Make it stand out. Um, Boo da, uh, speaking of art, Boo does his explosion, the Akira bomb thing that he does, mm -hmm. which is super cool. Uh, and then he like removes a piece of his belly fat and mm -hmm. starts using that as a weapon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, fine, All bets yeah. are off, bro. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Anything goes, man. Yeah, I'm not upset about it. <laughs> um, so I already said Trunks and Goku had showed up already. Um, and Vegeta, again, he's getting, now getting his ass kicked. And he's like, I'm going to have to pull out some extra stops for this. Mm -hmm. And so now he, Vegeta uh, and Trunks he, meet each other on the battlefield for a second. And uh, Vegeta gives like a little cute kind of fatherly pep talk to Trunks for the mm -hmm. first time ever. He like, his guard comes down. Yeah. He hugs Trunks. Yep. For the first time and only time, maybe ever. Mm -hmm. That we've seen. Uh, and, that we've seen, yeah. Yeah. And he's kind of, he's essentially saying goodbye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to, you're, you know, you got this. It's a touching nope. moment. Yeah. yeah. It's a touching moment. Then he punches him. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. Yeah. And then he also it's, punches Gohan, who yeah. then runs in. He's like, how could you punch your kid like that? Yeah. yeah. And he punches him too. Yeah. Um, and then he's talking to Piccolo and he's telling Piccolo what he's going to do. And he's like, well, at least maybe I'll get to see Goku in the afterlife after I die. And he's like, no, dude, you're going straight to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Directly to hell. Yep. He's yep. like, you don't get to you don't get to go anywhere anybody yeah. else goes. Yep. We all know what, what you've done. Yeah. Um, so then Vegeta has this like super overplayed, very dramatic goodbye explosion scene. You know what I mean? Well, you got to give Vegeta. Or, um him that fucking a main oh, yeah. character, character. self-sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. Except I know it, I know it's in a show where death means nothing yeah. and everybody yeah. comes back to life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you still can't just throw that moment away. Yeah. Except they also still are. By us all knowing yeah. that it's nothing, that it doesn't matter, it's all a throwaway. But Look, like you don't yeah. necessarily know that he's going to hell. You don't know the circumstances of that. Everybody yeah. else we've seen just went to heaven or, or you know, yeah. or yeah. not and, hell. You know, and they're though. usually brought you back know. to life. Like nobody knows if he, that somebody's gonna bring him back. He's coming back. Well, yes. We all know this. We do. Nobody but... nobody thinks it's for good. Not one person. No, I'm just no. Tr I'm just yeah. justifying the yeah. the drama yeah. of that scene mm -hmm. yeah. being at the at the height that it was. I get it. Mm -hmm. For the sake of television, yeah. yes. I get it. It just to me it's a I'm big like moment. Well, either, I know what yeah, you're doing. It's, it's it's the comic book thing, right? It's transparent like, for me. Sorry, we, go ahead. Yeah, we know we sometimes we talk about comics, right? Yeah. North American comics. Yeah. And how when they, you know, when you kill off a character, they never stay dead. Like how the many death times? of Superman. We've had this conversation. Right, before. exactly. Right. Yeah. And it's it's just now that you can just write it in, it's just recycle over and over. The only yeah. difference with North American comics is that you, you don't have like a, a you know, a snake road. Yeah. True. <laughs> right? Fair enough. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I was so, also I was also always like intrigued by like the idea, like at least with Vegeta here, where like he he generates so much power and he powers up to such a degree that like he he just explodes like yeah. his entire body just like yeah erupts can't, yeah. can't handle in it in power like yeah. and and it's something that you, like, you never really think about all those other times when people are powering up and like they're under this strain and they're screaming and they're grunting yeah. and like they're gonna shit whatever people jokes yeah. like people like to make and it's just like the amount of like force like that yeah. they're like trying to emit from their body yeah. mm -hmm. like how does it not tear them apart piece yeah. from piece yeah. as they explode from all of this energy and yeah. it's just like well the show finally gave you that yeah and then and the one character that it should be yeah mm -hmm. is the one character that it is yeah because mm -hmm. like how fitting for that, sure that the hothead yeah boils blows over yeah. And, yeah. Bo and blows up like yeah. a fucking atomic bomb i do have to remark though the fact that this is the biggest energy thing we've seen and no one even nearby got injured <laughs> yeah, the yeah, implication yeah. is that this is a devastating explosion, and it's like didn't blow up the planet, but uh, not e not yeah. even people nearby. Yeah, boo, no. boo. Yeah, temporarily, we all also knew that. Look, look it, it's so. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. You know, th this is a contained massive explosion that has the potential to blow up said planet, but because it is somewhat contained within its realm within in space. What, in explain space, to me the realm, how, the containment. 
<laughs> <laughs> All right. How about this? I'll give you one. Vegeta was smart enough, maybe, yeah. and gracious enough to control it in his death. And maybe that's why he exploded, because he yes. not only made the explosion, but also caused it to be more of an implosion and to be more yeah. focused and general. Yep. And maybe by being higher powered, he was able to do that. You're welcome. Thank you. See, you look look how good the writing is. Yeah, my writing <laughs> is really good. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so he's gone. Boo's blown to pieces. Uh, but of course, Boo reforms in mm -hmm. like literally the next episode. Um, meanwhile, Yamcha, 18, Bulma, Chi Chi, Roshi, Videl, probably et cetera, a bunch of people, they're mm -hmm. all out searching for Dragon Balls. We get like a good old classic Bulma versus a dinosaur situation for a minute. Mm hmm. Love uh, it. We Love get a classic, uh, classic Yamcha fucking shit up situation. Yeah. When he like knocks Idiot. a Dragon Ball into the water. <laughs> Idiot. Piece of shit. We get a Roshi literally farting on a dinosaur situation. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's Master all we need. Roshi. That's all we need to say about that. <laughs> uh, okay, so after Boo's explosion and reforming, Supreme Kai goes off and finds Gohan out in the woods. Everyone mm -hmm. else thinks he's dead. Supreme Kai finds him and takes him to Supreme Kai Land. Mm -hmm. which is in the afterlife, obviously, somehow. Mm -hmm. um, because I guess you don't have to die to go there. You can just go. Yeah, pocket mm -hmm. dimension. Type Makes deal. sense, yeah. Uh, and he wants Gohan to wield the Z-sword. Yes. Which the Z-sword. The Z-sword, Z -sword. which is literally the sword in the stone. Yes. Pretty much. Except super dumb because, it, as we established before, everyone can blow up stones and mountains. Mm -hmm. And why is this so hard? Because it doesn't exist just, in the, our world. Yeah, it's it, not. It's not a real stone. It's otherworldly. Yeah, it's otherworldly stone. Sure. Magic god Kai. Uh, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, it's not that hard. Gohan just gets it out. Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't even have to really try that hard. He just yeah. gets it. Um, he does go Super Saiyan to get it out. Yeah. He does. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, they never go Super Saiyan. Uh, they never don't go Super yeah. Saiyan. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, Goku wakes up, and um, they all kind of are regrouping, right? So Goku wakes up. He's healed by Dende back at the fucking palace or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Piccolo and Krillin go for Senzo, Senzu beans, and we get a classic Yajirobe's an asshole moment. <laughs> <laughs> I they love it. They chew yeah. him the fuck out real quickly. Uh, Literally, they're like, you're a piece of shit, yeah, Yajirobe, and then they fly away. <laughs> um, and they're, they're regrouping. They're talking about their plan of attack here, and they're like, it's got to be fusion. It's the mm -hmm. only way. And everyone's like, you can't. No one can. And Goku's kind of explaining. He's like, yeah, we can. We can figure it out. But the pe it's got to be two people who are similar in size and similar in power. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, Vegeta's gone. And he's tiny compared to me. So we couldn't even really do it, I guess. Roasted. Yeah. yeah. Roasted. <laughs> Roasted. Roasted, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, the only two people who are close enough are Goten and Trunks. Yeah. Right? They're similar. And so it's like, that's going to be the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, also, Shenron got summoned. Mm -hmm. and But not by the right people. Like the idiots of the team summon him, and they're like, uh, uh, bring everyone back to life, except for the really, really bad people. <laughs> it's literally how they do that. Yeah. And I'm like, they're not even trying anymore. Yeah. 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 And somehow they just get away with that working well for them. There's no complications from that being their wish. Yeah. 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 Well, Shenron gets them at this point, right? Like, they, he's had so many interactions. I guess like, so. Like, it's like these guys again, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Goku shows up. He's like, stop. Don't make any more stupid wishes. And he basically says, just don't anymore. And that makes Shenron go away and the Dragon Balls scatter again. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I'm like, you could have just made those wishes and the same thing would have occurred. Like, mm -hmm. make some frivolous ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know why they had to stop, just not make more wishes. Yeah. yeah. That was stupid. Yeah, I know. You could just wish for, like, some, like, titties in your face or something. Something no, stupid. No, the, 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 yeah. the, uh, the panties. The what? Panties. Panties? Are you talking about your wish, secret wishes that you no! would wish for? Oh, no, this is from the OG Dragon Ball. Oh, does someone wish for panties? Yeah. Gross. <laughs> but point being is instead of wishing for a couple just like yeah. light things, they just say no more wishes and they lose the Dragon Balls and have to find them again anyways. Mm -hmm. So that's dumb. Uh, They'll find them. They I know will. they will, but they would have. Anyways. Okay, so uh, Bobbity now is telepathically talking to the entire world. He's like, hey, these fucking fucks are the reason why I'm going to murder you all. It's Piccolo, Goten, and Trunks. And he's like, we're going to just keep murdering and eating entire cities worth of people until you turn them over. Um, so Boo now turns like an entire town to candy and eats them because mm -hmm. he's a baby. And that's mm -hmm. what you do. Uh, until these like rich fucking hillbillies somehow telepathically reach Bobbity and be like, wait, we know where they live. And this lady <laughs> dude, again, I watched the dub, but this lady's like, Bobbity, 
Hey, Bobby, <laughs> we we know where they are. She's got this like down southern voice. It, it, it was ridiculous, dude. Absolutely obnoxious. Yeah. Anyways, and he's uh, like, uh, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat you too. Basically, he's yeah. like, I don't give a fuck. And she's like, no, we. Anyways, that was a silly scene. Super silly. Uh, so they tell them basically like, yeah, Trunks, uh, li- they live at Capsule Corp. We can mm-hmm. tell you exactly where they are. So Trunks gets sent to Capsule Core to get the Dragon Radar because, you know, we lost the Dragon Balls, and that's how we get them. And Goten is literally told to just sit tight, and Goku just pats him on the head and goes, you're a good boy. <laughs> is he a puppy now? Yeah. Worst dad of all. Yeah, yeah worst you're a good dad. boy. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We're blasting through. Goku then, uh, to buy some time, flies right to Boo and Bobbity because he knows Trunks is going to get the... You know, the dragon radar thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he doesn't want them to go and blow Capsule Core up just yet or anything. So mm-hmm. he goes and confronts them. And he basically is explaining to them. He's kind of being cocky and he's breaking down the levels of his power. He goes, yeah, this is normal me. Here's Super Saiyan 1. Here's mm-hmm. Super Saiyan 3 or 2. And then check this out. And then he just goes into it. And he's like, yeah, I've been able to do that. It's mm-hmm. hard, but I can do it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, when did you just, that's how you're going to break it out? <laughs> that's how you're going to show us. Classic like, yeah. Goku. Yeah. 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 He's that's, just been holding on to that one. Y- yeah, you know what? Like, there, there, there's, there's, that's a hundred percent in character for him. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like, oh yeah, I've been training on the side, you know, yeah. doing my thing. Thinks nothing of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he died, day. and so dying would have caused his power level to skyrocket. Skyrocket, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I mean, the, the transformation was intense. He screamed a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everyone else was really surprised. Oh yeah. I mean, and, when that happened, come on. And the plant and the planet shaking. Yeah. When it happens as yeah, well, the totally. whole w- Earth moves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, is for the first time in a while, is tracking with power scaling yes. from season one and two. We're getting back. We're getting back. The, mm-hmm. the pull back. To launch forward. Launch forward. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we pull back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we launch, launch forward. forward. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very okay. Good. So <laughs> Super Saiyan three Goku versus Boo. Goku is basically using him like a punching bag. He grabs his antenna. Yeah. He's just bobbity, mm-hmm. bobbity, 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 yeah, bobbity, 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 yeah. <laughs> And it's a big fight. <laughs> uh, and Goku's pretty much dominating. And then pretty much he, Trunks finds the radar and Goku's like, okay, you found the radar? Okay, we're good here. Peace out. <laughs> and he's out of there. Yeah. Also tracks for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and at this point, the moment Goku leaves, Boo turns around to Bobbity and is like, yeah, I'm done with you now. And turns his head into purple mist. Yeah, just destroys him immediately. Yeah, that tracks um, for a kid, right? With yeah. power, and yeah. also like people have been saying to him at various fights through the time, like, why do you let this guy? You're so much more powerful. Why yeah. do you let him tell you what to do? Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean. And more, and uh, at this point too, Boo's uh, Bobby's basically telling him like, it's your fault that guy left. Why didn't you beat the shit out of him? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you kill He's him? Scolding him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he then Boo says some stupid shit. He's like, "Boo kills time waiting for strong guys by killing," <laughs> and he just goes on a killing rampage. Um, he goes to one town and he like emulates what he thinks a hot dude is because he sees it on a magazine, and the girl screams and runs away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, "Ah, oh, you're a Boo tease," <laughs> and my eyes rolled uh, into the back of my head. Nice. And I'm like, suddenly Boo's concerned about being good looking, and this becomes a character trait for him. He like mm-hmm. wants people to think he looks good. It's mm-hmm. really weird. He doesn't want people to think he looks bad. Yeah. 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 He, well, he's, he's trying to understand the world right now. I he, guess he's a baby. Yeah. And he yeah. doesn't want to be bad. Yeah. yeah. Right? Except like, the next thing he does is build a house by hand made of dead people. <laughs> <laughs> but but you got to understand here. He doesn't he, know. He, he doesn't yeah. know. He doesn't, he, he doesn't have a moral compass yet. Yeah. He just knows that he doesn't want to be bad. He doesn't know what that looks like and what that means. Yeah. He's also a kid. He, he, you know, he likes candy and all that stuff. But he's like also a spoiled kid where he's like, he's so powerful. He gets what he wants. Yeah. Right? So yeah. if I need to eat a couple hundred people and turn them into my house. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Uh, it's a little twisted that he now lives in a house made of dead people and then there's this insane montage of like just boo at home yeah like a little sitcom yeah this where boo poo and he sits on the toilet yeah right yeah dude and this this is where the soundtrack gets fucking insane because it's literally like the 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 theme of sunny day from sesame street yeah sunny day in his house made of corpses yeah yeah dude yeah yeah that's sick and then he uh, cures a boy's blindness. That's another move. Mm-hmm. Um, and then forces cannibalism on that boy by making him drink milk made of dead people. Mm-hmm. So this is getting fucking twisted, and yet somehow so silly. <laughs> yeah, still really cute. Yeah. Well, I'm like I said, <laughs> I mean, man, I guess. a good villain is silly, cute, does what they want. 
I mean, right? a villain. That's a way to be a villain. Yeah, in this show especially. Yeah. Okay, uh, Goku. 24 hours is finally up. He's got to mm. go back to the afterlife. His literal, his literal goodbye to everyone is, see you when you're dead. <laughs> yeah. And then he flies off to the afterlife. Um, and again, this is where I'm like, somehow all this way went down in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. But then afterwards, I'm like, yeah. But like, I actually watched it, and it was probably close to watching 24 hours of TV. <laughs> there you go. It's probably not that far off. Yeah. <laughs> it was minute for minute here. Yeah. Almost, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so that that tracks. Um, okay, so Gohan is training with the Z Sword, and Goku shows up because again we're in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. um, and the Kai, the yeah, Kai lands are in the afterlife, and they just break the sword. Mm -hmm. Broken again. Swords not scary. Didn't no. need them. Um, and then Gohan's like, maybe my newly ripped biceps and triceps from training with the sword is actually what the legend meant. Maybe yeah. the sword was never supposed to be my power. It was just supposed to like work me out and make me all ripped. And Supreme Kai's like. Yeah, yeah, that must have been it. <laughs> That's for sure what it meant. Yeah, you're right. Because they can't that believe. Has to be it. No, That's that it, has right? To be it. Yeah. And then this weird old ass Supreme Kai shows up out of nowhere. Yes. And he's like, "Oh, I've got a technique where I can power anyone up, and they could, they'll probably be able to beat Boo." He's like, "But I'm not gonna do it on you." And Goku's like, "What if? <laughs> what if I get you a boob to grab or a butt? <laughs> Literally, what yeah. if I get you a boob or a butt?" He's, ta he's telling Goku, "He's like, this is gonna work for sure." Sorry, this is going to work for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it does it work. Does work. Yeah, yeah, and it does. Yeah. And he promises him Bulma. Yeah. And then he goes, does it matter if she's not quite a spring chicken? His literal words. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Bro, so good. And the guy's like, I don't care. And Gohan's like, but isn't this sexual harassment? Oh, well, I guess we have no choice. <laughs> That's literally how that goes down. Look, it's to save the world. Yeah, yeah, it's to save the world. Problematic things are okay. Except when that, is the that the is only over. way, or is it just the first thing a stupid idiot like Gohan came up it's with? It's the only way, Jordan. <laughs> yes. This is this was the '90s way, where problematic things were rampant everywhere. My God, Akira dude. Toriyama was a dirty old man. Yeah, yeah. they all are. We've mm -hmm. learned this, right? He was Master Roshi. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so meanwhile, Trunks and Goten have been practicing their fusion, and they finally get it, except it sucks. Mm -hmm. There's, like, fat and useless uh, go Gotenks. Yeah, I love that design. It's so funny. It's interesting. <laughs> and then there's, like, a skinny, who looks like a senior citizen Gotenks. Yeah. yeah. Right? That, that one was also kind of funny. And then there's, like, a tough-looking Gotenks who's, like, cocky as hell and reckless, and he's like, oh, we did it! And immediately takes off to go fight Boo, one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, no, wait! And, uh... It doesn't. He doesn't work. He gets his ass kicked, and yeah. then it flies back home and gets chewed out by Piccolo. Goten gets full on spanked by Chi Chi, bare butt spanked. <laughs> yeah. um, and then they finally get the perfect fusion. Mm -hmm. Except once again, they squander it by flying around the world for about thirty minutes, which is exactly how much time they have to stay mm -hmm. in the form. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about all I get of Go Tanks this season. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I know that the next season is going to be all go tanks. It's got to be. Um, yep. Okay. Meanwhile, Mr. Satan is ready to save the day. He like comes out and he's like got poison chocolate and an exploding Game Boy. That's his big plan. <laughs> and he like kind of sneaks up to Boo, Boo's yeah. house with it. I got uh, chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And none of it works. Yeah. And he ends up finding himself in this situation where he's just like Boo's live-in maid and like ha house servant. Yeah. yeah. And, and like surrogate be friend. Become friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it's and that so, one kid who like has everything that like makes you be their friend, but is actually just a big bully. Yeah, they just kind of hang. He's kind of like an indentured servant. He's like, yeah. if I leave, I and the rest of the world die. Yes. So I guess I will stay. <laughs> yes. That's kind of how it goes <laughs> yeah. down. And uh, okay, so Boo finds a dog. He's out killing one day. Mm -hmm. Just you know, doing what Boo does, mm -hmm. killing. And killing. he finds this dog, and the dog loves him obviously because dogs are a gift, and we don't deserve them. You're right. And then. Mr. Satan is like planning a new way to blow him up. I feel like there could be a whole sitcom of Mr. Satan coming up with <laughs> wacky schemes to blow Boo up. This one will get and that it, it's not Boo. working. It's not yeah. working, yeah. So this time it's just a dinner of dynamite. <laughs> I gotta serve him dynamite for dinner. And that's gonna work. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then it, he can't do it because Boo and the dog are like too damn wholesome. And he's yeah. like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. Darn it. Yeah. When Literally. you see the good side in somebody, evil. Yeah. 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 And then after that, he actually somehow convinces Boo to stop killing people. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a minute. Did Mr. Satan actually do it? <laughs> yeah. Did he, he actually <laughs> save the world? Yeah. And the answer is no, because a fucking dog dies. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. At the end of the season. <laughs> and I'm like, you're going to close out this season With by killing a dog for me. Two crazed gunmen shoot yeah. the dog. And honestly, at that point, I'm like, I'm actually on Team Boo. <laughs> well, take I mean, humanity that, out. That, that tracks, though. Like, yeah. Take humanity when you, out. <laughs> when you take out, take out a dog, you never kill the dog. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It means more. We, we watched many cities full of people be turned to food and eaten. Mm -hmm. I watched Boo live in a house of corpses. <laughs> but one dog and I'm Team Boo. <laughs> yeah. What I, I'm I, there with you. If it makes you feel better, season nine starts with a little bit of, like, a little bit of cuteness. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know Sorry. if that makes me feel any better, to be honest. It, sh it should. Yeah. It cuteness should. and corpses. But mostly cuteness. <laughs> mostly cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> Corpses don't really matter in this show, though, because they all come back to life. Yes. I know that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How many actual deaths have we even had, like permanent deaths? One? Frieza. Frieza. But well, Frieza not, we know is coming back. Yeah. Well, but we don't well, at we, this point. At in the story. this point, yeah. Sure. We don't. Cell's we, gone. All the villains, yeah. really. Nappa. All, sure. all the people that, like, die Ginyu and Force go still to hell. alive. Sorry? Ginyu Force still alive. But, like, they, none of them died, right? Didn't they? Or anybody, I guess, that was on Namek died. So they all would have died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, anybody, any villains that have died have not come back. Sure. Which is why it was actually significant that Vegeta blew himself up. Because up until this point, we actually have no precedence whatsoever to yeah. think that Vegeta can come back. You know, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, at this point. You know. If you've watched this show... Just you saying. <laughs> well, I mean, also, if you know that in this current uh, timeline that we are, which is like IRL timeline and other seasons of this have come out. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you know, <laughs> then yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, well, that's yeah. the fucking end of the that's season. That's the end of the that's weirdest it. end of the season, I yeah. know. But Very yeah. weird. But it's clearly a cliffhanger. And again, we've established before that there were no real seasons. The yeah. seasons were established after the fact. Exactly. Yes. Right? And so, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't actually even... I don't even think that they did it a good job as far as making those arcs. But yeah. it's still fucking sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, this season would have been, like, 75 episodes long. This yes. whole Majin Buu situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And a, uh, lot of, a lot of people also, like, think about the Android saga as being the same as the Cell saga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're so connected. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's it. All right. That's the end, man. That's, the end. That's it. Yeah. That's it. What do you give the season? What do you give the season out of ten? Um, ten being your favorite show of all time, and it's not one that. being <laughs> your second favorite show of all yeah. time. It's not that either. Oh <laughs> fuck! What are you gonna pick, dude? Uh, I have to pick between those two. <laughs> fuck! <Yeah>. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> uh, I gave it a four out of ten. Uh, uh, I mean. Tracks. Pretty much on par with most of your Dragon yeah. Ball ratings. <laughs> yeah. right I now. think so. I yeah. think at this point, that's just, we could just go ahead and score all of Dragon Ball wait, Z around a four. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. You listen, 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 listen. Yeah. listen, listen. <laughs> you gave this a four. Yeah. And then you gave uh, fucking Summer Wars a two? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Summer Wars was borderline unbearable. Dude, fuck you. Dude, <laughs> fuck you. This, no, just uh, fuck you. Don't is, talk to me. Fuck this is last <laughs> episode we're now arguing about yeah. again. This this at least knows what it wants to be. Yeah, and it's like yeah. it's like fun. Yeah. It's fun yeah. at yeah. times. Summer so, Wars was fun at times. Yeah, when it the was fun over. part the fun parts were lame. The credits. In this the fun <laughs> parts <laughs> <Yeah>. you too. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fun parts were lame and boring. In this the fun parts are like I get a giggle sometimes. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because of the, the the silly absurdity of some and, of and it. And the, the writing is transparent. Like, I know these are silly fucks writing a silly fuck show. Mm -hmm. You know, in Summer Wars, I get, this, I get the feeling that they were, like like Jay said in the episode, that he's trying to write a masterpiece. He mm -hmm. thinks he's a visionary, mm -hmm. and it's just not working. This, they know what they're doing. Toriyama, uh, Toriyama's Toriyama. He's yeah, never he gonna, knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I write Dragon Ball. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah. Roshi farted on a dinosaur, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, that it's, was this it's show. The, it's the height of like tension in the entire series and they still find a way to wedge Bulma and a dinosaur into the fucking <laughs> yeah. series. Yeah. yeah. He's like, no guys, I'm doing the Bulma dinosaur shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like yeah. Akira, like this is the most serious and anticipated chapter of manga history. Yeah. yeah. What do you have up for us? Yeah, we have to do it. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. 
Bulma, You'll get what you want, Bulma but... is going to meet a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're like, all right, nice. Let him cook. Let him cook. And he's just like, then, yeah. Roshi yeah. Farts on yeah. Yeah. is going to fart on that dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. like, and that's nice, how they nice, get away. Nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yajirobe, yeah. still a prick. Yeah. Yeah. Say, uh, yeah. Oh, we all should right. tell him. Yeah. yeah. Mid episode. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It does. Okay. It does all track, especially right from the beginning of like yeah. the first Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. So goofy. Yeah. It is. It's, it is meant to be that yeah. way. Yeah. I do think. I think the uh, like if they made a comedy show of just Boo and Mr. Satan, that that would be a better show than Dragon Ball. It'd be a great sitcom. Yeah. yeah. It would be. It would. That would be great. Like, I think that's what they're going for with it. Yeah. 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 yeah like, they're, they're teasing it. So anime does this thing where like they do like fifteen minute episodes of like shorts. Yeah. Right. And it would be a series of that like fifteen minute shorts. I love it. It's kind of like Animaniacs almost, yeah. That kind of style. Yeah, that would be mm-hmm. that would be a lot of fun. Totally. totally. Yeah. <gasps> Meanwhile, like at the end of every episode, like Boo just takes out another city, and Satan's like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, like, oh damn. darn it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not again, Boo! <laughs> 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 Fucking murder! <laughs> yeah, you're murdering <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted murder today. <laughs> <laughs> Boo hungry. <laughs> God damn it, boo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, what about you, man? What do you give this? Um, I fucking like this season, man. This is a crazy season. This is like first Gotenks, fucking mm-hmm. Vegeta's massive sacrifice moment. That's like mm-hmm. humongous. Some of the best animation from Dragon Ball. Uh, I'll go 8 out of 10. 8 out of nice. 10 for me. That's double me. That eight. is double you. Eight. Yeah. I'm also an eight out of ten for this one. All right. Yeah. This is yeah, this is like this is getting into peak kind of there's two three really peak moments in Dragon Ball and this is one of them. Like this current season. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. And it's and it's good build up and like foreshadowing for like the craziness to come. Yeah. Which is also the cathartic end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. Maybe that'll get an extra point or two if it's written well. I'm excited for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? I also, I, I too, am excited for it to end. <laughs> <laughs> Just All like right. this episode. Yay. Just like this episode. If you stuck around this long, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We got one more for you. We got one more for you. Just Someday. to cap it off. Someday. I, I love you like Vegeta loves power. Yes. <laughs> I love this show. The way Vegeta shows mm-hmm. his love to Trunks. I love you. I love punch you. The show? Yeah. Like how the fandom loves power from Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man. Man. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's a lot of love. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where can people find you, Jordy? At Reaching In on Instagram. Nice. Hi. Hello. Hello. That's where I am. What about you, Jay? You can find me poking around the Discord here and there, and uh, I'm selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, over at Beckett YGO on nice. Instagram. Yeah. Very nice. And you guys can find me at Pod on all socials, uh, mainly on TikTok and the Discord. Come hang out. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.